Okay. Well, who do we have here today? Uh, my name is Kate, and I'm from Stroudsburg, Monroe County. Oh, yeah, from Stroudsburg. Very cool. And you are runner number 205. Now, tell us about this experience. What was it like running a 5K while people were trying to, I don't know, eat your brains? The zombie thing wasn't that bad. The terrain was horrible. I ran a 5K um, on Flatland in New Jersey a couple months ago. That mm -hmm. was fine, but this is completely uphill, so it feels like 12 miles when it's actually like a 5K. Wow, so you're checking, it was, a, it was an extra know. rugged challenge here. It was extremely rugged challenge. Wow, now is this something where you, this is one and done, or are you like, this is gonna be back every year, or? Um, I'll probably do it next year. Oh, very cool, very cool. Then. So it's overall a good experience, but way challenging. Way challenging, way more challenging than Dirty Girl, um, but it was fun. But wow, more challenging than Dirty Girl. I yeah. think that that's an endorsement that I, I know a lot of people are like, all right, I gotta try this now. Yeah, it, so. was, it was rough, it was really rough. Very cool. Well, I will, I will, uh, I will spread the word among my friends who do the Dirty Girl Challenge all and right. say, "All right, you think you could do Dirty Girl? Let's see if you could do the Zombie Challenge exactly. up here in Scranton." On this mountain, that's what makes it a challenge. Well, thank you so much for your time. Now, did the zombies at least add a good effect? Was it kind of neat, or was um, it just you know? They do. I feel like they were so exhausted because of the terrain as well that they weren't really running with you. They were kind of on the side, like. Well, hey, now, this, this should teach you something. Apocalypse. Should there be an actual zombie apocalypse, head for the hills. Yes. <laughs> Which is what we would mostly do anyway. Right. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.